why don't you get pizza from all these? Look at the prices. That's a little piece. That ain't gonna feed my family. It's too expensive. So mainly I shop at Aldi's and Little. That's about it. Sometimes I go to Walmart for certain things like uh, bottled water. They have um, Great Valley cookies, chocolate chip, and pet food for my cat. Um, I used to shop at Walmart 100%, but ever since the prices of these groceries are crazy, I had to just obviously find the cheapest prices I can possibly. So, all these is really my number one, especially when I'm paying in cash. It really helps me out. Like, $15, $20, like, can really go a long way. You get you some eggs, you get you some bread, you get you some milk, some sandwich meat. You get a thing of chicken, and you get to go. You know what I'm saying? So, I just got a vent real quick. I just started receiving child support. It's been, like, what, three months? A little bit. Like he pays like two thirty to two twenty to two hundred a month, split by weekly. So it it like it disappears into my bank account literally. It does nothing for me. And the part that I need to vent about is that they literally I just found out the reason why they cut my food stamps that I've been getting for so long. They cut my food stamps because of this child support made my income too high. So, I mean, y'all, I'm telling y'all, if y'all don't have children yet, please make sure you settle down with a man that you plan on having a baby with. Make sure he's going to provide for you, be there for you. You can see the red flags in the beginning. Do not make a baby with a guy who you who you don't even see as a good father because, oh, just please. So, back to the shopping trip. After all these, as you see, I'm checking the prices to see what's cheaper is it at all these or is it at little sometimes i check the prices at walmart but lately not really because walmart has just been high so my next step my next stop is going to be little and i'm going to get everything that i didn't get at all these pretty much and i like all i mean little seasonings i like um their waffles um the cheese is so much cheaper there and, a, you know, a couple of things you guys going to see that coming up next. For those that don't know, I live in a two-bedroom, and I have two roommates. They live um, in one bedroom, and me and my family of four live in one bedroom. So things can get really, really messy. I am very raw and uncut on TikTok. Um, I don't hide nothing, really. I'm an open book. I've never been... Um, a shameful person or somebody who can get embarrassed or somebody who cares what people think. So I have no problem with just sharing everything. Like I share um, my ch how much I get paid for ch child support. I share um, my bank statements. I share the fact that my lights get cut off every four days because I'm on a prepaid plan on Georgia Power. Like I share the mess in the room because it gets really messy. Like I'm literally in the process of cleaning up right now. I'm on break. And I decided to edit this video. But it gets really messy in here. Um, so, yeah, I pretty much clean every single day. I work two jobs. And I'm trying to do this YouTube channel, another YouTube channel, and two TikToks. So it's just a lot. I've been on a mission this month in November to manifest and just a miracle happened. I just manifest a miracle of ten thousand dollars this month, and I am just really believing it. And I see it happening, and I'm very confident in it. Y'all pray for me. I just need to escape poverty. I've been poor my whole life. My family, uh, my close family members, the same. And it's just traumatizing, and it's getting to the point where I'm gonna lose my mind. It's either I, I get put on and start making a decent amount of money and I can move out of the ghetto or I'm going to be in a crazy house. I just can't take it anymore. So with that being said, I feel like God is just going to bless me, which he has been blessing me this month so far. Like today is the 12th. So I'm just counting down the days, you know, how many days I got left to make the money. So, yeah, um, I can't live in the hood no more. 
I'm just so sick of the N-words. I just hate living somewhere where nobody cares about the community. It's nasty. It's trash everywhere. People, you know, like, they go to take out their trash. They put it on their car, you know, and then they ride it to the trash can and it falls. They don't care. They leave it right there. I didn't see so many trash bags like that be on the main street. with Because it's like I live in a, a place where there's a line of apartments on a whole block. And you can tell, like, in the mornings, people was too tired. They forgot they had a trash bag on their car, and they left the apartment. And it's just trash bags everywhere. It's just ridiculous. Like, I'm just tired of just the inconsiderateness. Like, I see, like, the N-words. They are very inconsiderate. Like, they don't care. They block the road. Um, they just... <laughs> I just... I just want to move. I don't want to move. I'm so tired of living in the ghetto. I'm tired of being in this low vibrational environment. Like when I go to places like Sandy Springs, Alpharetta, um, and some parts of Atlanta, like I, f- I notice that I feel different. You know what I'm saying? It's because the people are on a different vibration. And, and that's where I want to raise my family. You know, like don't we all? So please support this channel, subscribe, like, comment, share, all that YouTube stuff. I'm trying to transfer from TikTok to YouTube because I don't know what TikTok going on, but like I have a video right now at 27 point million and you would think like I had like 20K, 10K minimum. Like I am being paid in pennies. Oh, this old bay, I didn't get it because it was too expensive. But yeah, so I'm like, if I made them kind of views on freaking YouTube, yeah, it would be so different for me right now. So yeah, y'all please support this channel. I am grateful. I made a lot of friends on TikTok and hundreds of people have supported me and donated to my GoFundMe, my Cash App, and my Amazon wish list. mainly my Amazon wish list. I basically put on there everything I needed for my home, like, but so... Just detergent, food, um, <laughs> towels, like, and hundreds of people. It's just so emotional. Like, every time I talk about it, like, humanity really still exists. It's some good people out here. And y'all just be kind and spread the love because it really matters. And that's what we're really here for is to spread the love. This Slim Jim was too expensive. Like, they, they be tripping. I love Slim Jim. I used to always get a Slim Jim and, like, a Snicker. On my in a in a pack of gum, on the way out, as I was checking out, I don't do that no more. I don't buy gum no more. I used to always get the um tick. What's the birthday is called? The tick 